Well, as the as the biblical authors uh, sought to put the thoughts of God into the to the words of mortals, they they very often drew on images from life around them, and whether it was the plants or the animals, or weapons or or average items that there were around the household, uh, these become part of God's message to us. And and the risk is. Uh, the less we know about those images and the connotations associated with them, we may miss that part of God's word for us. If you were speaking uh, about Jesus' statement that uh, birds have nests and foxes have holes, as he described his life and the life of his believers, I, I submit to you that it would be helpful for you to know something about the red fox of the biblical world. Um, the red fox is a carnivore who chooses to catch its food not just in one hole, but in many different holes, many different locations. So if one of those food supply storage facilities is compromised, it can very, very quickly uh, move to another. That is the image that Jesus is using with the connotation that allows us to better understand what Jesus is saying when he says, I am not like the foxes who have holes. I don't have contingency plans. I have faith. And I thoroughly believe that anyone who's passionate about deepening their interaction with God's word, whether it's in the, in the classroom or in the dining room of their home, uh, they can benefit from, uh, from this book. So I've, I've written this book, uh, The Dictionary of Biblical Imagery, in order to, to describe the reality behind the images we find frequently in scripture, the connotations that are linked to those images, and then demonstrate the various ways in which the biblical authors turn those images from everyday life into God's message for us.